which one of the following reactions will proceed spontaneously? Okay, so spontaneously is, okay, so there are different ways that we can uh, discover this, but this is definitely something that we're going to need our table for. You know the table of redox reactions? Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I only use table 4B. Why? Is it because I'm selfish and I'm just worried about myself? No, it's because 95% of all schools in South Africa use table 4B, and then some schools use table 4a, but I'm not using table 4a, but the way you can think about it is still the same. Okay, so let's go grab our table. All right, so this is table 4b. Now it says which one will take place spontaneously? So spontaneously is the, what we do is the following. Uh, so step one, we are just going to go calculate the EMF. Okay, and then step two, if the EMF is a positive number, then it means spontaneous. If the EMF is a negative number, then it is non spontaneous or not spontaneous. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, what we're going to do is the following we're going to go find the pairs. So there's nickel, and then we're going to go find this one. Okay. So let's go find that nickel reaction. So the nickel reaction is up here, and specifically it's going to the right. Okay, so it's going like that. And then the hydrogen reaction is over here, but that one's going from hydrogen to hydrogen plus. So that's gonna go in uh, that direction over there. So what we then do is we know that when the reaction goes from left to right, like that, we know that that is called reduction. And we know that when it goes from right to left, like over here, that is called oxidation. We know that reduction happens at a cathode, always, and we know that oxidation happens at an anode. Now we can use our EMF formula, which on our formula sheet is this one over here. And so we have the cathode as um, we got the cathode for the nickel as negative 0, 0.27, so we can say negative 0, 0.27 minus the anode one, which is zero, and that's gonna give us a negative value. See that? And we said, if the EMF is negative, it's not spontaneous, and if the EMF is positive, then it is spontaneous. So this one is not gonna work because it gave us a negative value. And so this is literally the approach that we're now gonna use. So you can pause the video if you want now and just try these yourself and see which ones are gonna be negative, which ones are gonna be positive. Okay, so the next one would be Br2 becoming, see so it's going, see how the arrow says it's going to Br minus. So we're gonna look for Br2 and Br minus, which is there. So the Br2 is going to the Br minus, so it's going in that direction. Then here we've got the, uh, let's use a different color. Here we've got the Cl minus going to Cl2. So it's the Cl minus going to the Cl2. See that? So that's very important that you have the right direction there. So we know that when the reaction re is written like this, that's reduction. So this is your reduction when it goes from left to right like that, which is also our cathode. Okay, I probably shouldn't write over the voltage values. So that's reduction, which is where the cathode is. And then this one is the oxidation, which is where the anode is. And so then we can just use our formula again. And so we can just take the cathode value, which is 1.07, 1.07 uh, minus 1.36. And you're going to get a negative value. You're going to get a negative answer. So it can't be that one either. So we'll scratch that one out. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next one now. So the next one is Fe3 plus going to Fe2. So we're going to look for the reaction that has a Fe3 plus and Fe2. Here it is here. Um, so we're going from Fe3 plus to Fe2. So it's going that way. And then this one's going from I minus to I2. So I minus to I2, so where is that? Oh yeah, so we're going from I minus and we're going towards I2. So we know that this is reduction when it's written in that direction from left to right on the table, that's reduction, which is the same as 
Whoa, Kevin. Cathode. Cathode. Okay. And then and then if we go this way, then that is oxidation, which is anode. So now we can go use our formula. So it's going to be 0 0.77 minus uh, 0 0.54. Ha! Ah, and this would actually give us a positive answer. So that'll be 0 0.23 volts. And so that one is positive. So that is the answer. I'm not going to go check out this one, but I can promise you that that one would also be negative. So the answer for this one is C.